I'm in a very, very beautiful place called Katasu Beach, a place where maybe most of you might have come to or others have never come to. This is in Nairobi. Uh, I'm just about to show you behind there, but today I'm talking about the 10 key life lessons you can learn from traveling. 10 key life lessons that you can learn from traveling. So the first thing that you have to do is trust your gut or trust your instincts. It is always said that the answer lies within you. If you feel like doing something, just do it. Don't be, don't be in a haywire kind of a thing thinking what might happen, what might not happen. Trust your instincts. If something tells you go right now to Thailand, go. If it tells you go to China, don't worry about coronavirus, just, just go, enjoy your life, go wherever it can be because the only way you can learn about something is by doing it yourself. So point number two, if it scares you then probably you need to do it because scary things usually yield the best, the best results. When something scares you and makes you feel a little bit as if you're feeling, uh, what, what can I call it, you're feeling a little bit rush, that kind of feeling which makes you as if uh, the world is going off, then that is something that you have to try because the scariest things, the thrilling things actually have the best memory. So that is something you have to remember whenever you're doing any traveling. So don't forget that point. The other point is uh, failing and making mistakes is one of the best ways to learn. Don't fear to fail. Many people fear failing. When I was starting my YouTube channel, like I told you, I used to fear so much failing. I used to think that failing is like the end of the world. Like when I fail, I'll never start again. But just like I told you, never fear to fail. Anytime that you fail, anytime that you make any mistake, anytime that things go haywire. It's just a point of learning and becoming a better you and becoming a better person than you've never been. So don't fear to fail. If you're a traveler, this is something that you ought to do. You have to learn to fail. Failing, failing, fail more and more and more. And I just imagine how cool this place is and how many times people have failed in such kind of a place. When people are starting um, 
creating maybe restaurants, creating places and how many times they failed here. It's a serene place, but I'm sure it feels kind of good, but so many people have struggled to do it this way. So point number four, never fear talking to strangers. <laughs> Today I was just talking to some strangers there and I was telling them a little bit about my channel and talking about letting them tell me about their business, letting them tell me about how they feel, what they do, some fishermen around here. And uh, I got to learn so much from the strangers, more than I could learn from myself. Anytime you talk to someone new, you will learn a new idea which might impact to you in a very positive way depending on where you are and what you're doing. If you're in business, if you're in a, whichever kind of area that you're, you're doing your thing, you're going to learn a thing or two. You're going to learn maybe if there are some fish here, I don't know if there are some here, or whatever thing. So don't fear talking to strangers. Strangers is also, will also help you to understand exactly who you are. The person you've become, the person you are, what you like and what you don't like. Because the people back at home will never tell you the truth. They always sugarcoat, they always tell you things that you want to hear because they know you and they understand how you feel and all that. So don't fear talking to strangers. Learn from this. Learn from this. Transient relationships can be very, very good. Now, transient relationships are short relationships that you, pit, you meet with people anywhere, anyhow, in different places, and they are short-lived. You may not meet this person any other time, maybe you may not meet them any other day, but it can be so thrilling because I get to learn so much when I'm traveling, meeting guys like my friend here. By the way, what's your name? My name is Anthony. Anthony. So, like here, I'm with Anthony, he's the captain here. How, how long have you been doing this? Uh, I've done this for like uh, three years now. Three years now, huh? Yeah. Wow. And is it profitable? Is it nice? Is yeah, it is. So, they, they is the owner of the boat or you're the owner of the boat? I'm the owner of the boat. You're the owner of the boat? Yeah. You see, like, I'm here with my friend. We just met right now. He's giving me a ride and we're having a good time. Although it may be short-lived, but it is a thrilling thing. It makes me feel so nice meeting someone like him because you never know, we may exchange contacts. I may have some other friends who might be coming over and even if it's not me exactly, it may be someone else. And those are the kind of things that I'm talking about. When you're traveling, you get to learn so much, you get to feel so good and you get to interact with so many people. So don't fear going out there to do what has never been done. So this is one of the best places where I want you exactly. If you've never been here, kindly please just make sure you come here. This is Katosi Beach in Ruiru, Thika Road. For those people who don't know that there is a lake like this one in Thika Road, eh? now you know. <laughs> and I'm so much excited to be here. So guys, thank you very much. If it's your first time watching this, videos in my channel you can just subscribe down there and hit that notification button so that you don't miss any upcoming video because we're just about to get bigger and better in this year and even the coming years god bless you and have a peaceful time see ya